Hello everyone, I'm reading this article and it says um, last week was religion's hell week or religion's week from hell. Um, whether you believe that religious violence is fueled by faith or is a symptom of larger factors, political instability, poverty, cultural chaos, one thing seems clear. Last week was hellish for religion. Across several continents, including North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa, scores of religious believers suffered and died in brutal attacks over the past seven days. The causes of violence are complex and reducing them to talking points only adds to the problem. According to a scholar, this is what he said. His name is Michael Jerryson. He's a co-editor of the Oxford Handbook of Religion and Violence. He went on to say, but if you want to rally troops to your side, few tools are more powerful than religion. Hmm. If you can turn a battle into good versus evil or doing God's will, you will get so much more devotion. And that's what uh, Mr. Jerison told CNN. Okay, this article goes on to say, experts in religious violence say it's too soon to tell whether last week witnessed more terrorist attacks than usual. It often takes several months, if not longer, to tally all the assaults in a given period of time. However, even so, the brazenness of the attacks, a gunman shooting up a cafe and a synagogue in a European capital, ISIS decapitating 21 Christians, makes the past seven days stand out as particularly brutal. All right, it goes on to say what happened Monday through Friday, um, or Monday through Sunday, about all the, um, the attacks, the brutal attacks and shootings and killings. Monday, Boko Haram, the Muslim militant group um, based in Nigeria, attacked several towns in neighboring Cameroon, kidnapping 20 people, and so on and so on. On Tuesday, Craig Stephen Hicks here in the U.S., he killed three young Muslim um, people near Chapel Hill, North Carolina, because they were arguing over a parking space. And then Wednesday, ISIS, the Muslim militant group that calls itself the Islamic State, launched several attacks across Iraq, striking Kurdish forces in the north and Iraqi civilians in Baghdad, and so on. Then Thursday, Al-Qaeda killed four Yemeni soldiers while seizing a critical military base in the town of Bahan, which they took control of its weaponry. And um, what else did they do? U.S. officials consider Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, which is based in Yemen, the most dangerous branch of Al-Qaeda, the one that's um, positioned in Yemen. Okay? And then Friday, Boko Haram continued its cross-border attacks, killing four civilians and a soldier in neighboring Chad. The deaths came, came hours after 21 people were killed in two separate attacks on Akita and Mabuta villages near the northeast Nigerian city of Magdagari. Wow. Then Saturday, yep, Saturday, a gunman opened fire at the Free Speech Forum in Copenhagen, Copenhagen Denmark. And they say then that target was the cartoonist, the cartoonist Lars Vilks. But a, instead, a film director was killed. The 55-year-old di film director was killed. And then the gunman went on to kill a guardsman at a uh, at the city synagogue okay and then sunday in a new video released sunday by isis they took 21 coptic christians egyptian christians and beheaded them all on the beach and left the beach bloody wow so it has been a hell of a week a hellish week seven days of hellish violence and here's a photo of where all the occurrences took place. So I'm posting this video, make some comments and subscribe. I'm also gonna leave a link.